Merry Christmas, everyone, and welcome to Doe Holy Night. My name is Dustin. And I'm Susie. And together, we're the Cookie Crew. Hey, Dustin, I'm curious. What do you love the most about Christmas? Oh, man, that is a hard question because there are so many things to love about Christmas. There's the trees and the lights. And the music and the presents. And, of course, the, the cookies. cookies. In fact, you know what? I want to eat these cookies so much right now, I'm not even going to wait to mix all the ingredients together. I'm just going to eat them all individually. Wait, what? You can't do that. Of course I can. What does it matter if I mix the ingredients in a bowl or in my mouth? It's going to taste the same. I'm pretty sure it doesn't work that way. Oh, yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it absolutely does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Look, here, I'll show you. First, some sugar. Mmm. And then, some vanilla. Mmm. And butter. No. Oh. My mouth is really sad right now. <laughs> Susie, you're not gonna believe this, but that was the worst cookie I've ever eaten. That's because it wasn't a cookie, Dustin. To make a cookie, you have to first mix all of the ingredients together, then you bake it in the oven, and then you eat it. You see, eating the ingredients isn't the same as eating a cookie. I really feel like you should have told me that before, but you know what, now it doesn't matter. Now that we all know that, we're gonna make cookies the right way. That's a great idea. Here's what we're going to do. We'll teach you step by step exactly how to make a batch of Christmas cookies. And while the cookies are baking, we have an amazing story we want to tell you about the first ever Christmas. All right, let's get started. We're going to show you how to make a cookie called a snickerdoodle, one of my favorites. They're delicious. Now pay close attention because when we're done, it's going to be your turn. So I love this recipe because it's super simple. There are only four steps. The first step is to preheat the oven to 400 degrees. I'm on it. Awesome. Thank you. Once you've preheated the oven, you can start adding your ingredients. We're going to put them here into this mixing bowl, starting with the sugar. Sugar. I got it. Followed by the vanilla. Vanilla. Then add two sticks of butter. Ooh. and two eggs. Oh. Dustin, what are you doing? You don't just throw the whole eggs into the bowl. You have to crack them first. Again, I feel like you should have told me this before. Cut. Okay, second, you add your ingredients to the mixing bowl, starting with the sugar. Got it. Then the vanilla. Add two sticks of butter and then two cracked eggs. Got it. Then blend it all together till it's nice and creamy. Okay, once it's nice and creamy, you can start adding the other ingredients, starting with the flour. Then the cream of tartar. Mm -hmm. Some salt. And of course, you can't forget the soda. I've got soda. No, it's not that kind of soda. Baking soda. I knew that. Continue blending it all together. <laughs> Once you've blended all the ingredients together, you can move on to step three to form the dough 
into little balls and then roll them in the sprinkles. You'll want to put them on the cookie sheet about two inches apart because they're going to expand in the oven. If you don't put them two inches apart, you'll end up with one giant cookie blob. That doesn't sound like a bad thing. Well, that's true. Finally, you can move on to the fourth step once your cookie sheet is full, and that is to bake them for eight to 10 min minutes in the oven. If they're not done, they can just add a minute or two. Wow, that wasn't hard at all. And now it's your turn at home. In just a second, press pause and make your own batch of cookies. If you need to rewind the video and watch the instructions again, go for it. Or you can follow the recipe that we gave you. When you're finished, put the cookies in the oven and while they're baking, press play again. Have fun, we'll see you back here in just a little bit. All right, the cookies are in the oven. You know, Susie, the worst part of making Christmas cookies is waiting for them to be ready. I wanna eat them now. That's true. Well, actually, I have some good news for you. Oh yeah? I have some cookies ready to go. Oh, gimme, gimme, gimme. No. No, these are not for eating. Then what are they for? If you can't eat a cookie, what good is it? Great question. We're going to use these cookies to help us tell the Christmas story from the Bible. Here, let me show you. We'll start with the angel cookie. You see, the Bible tells us that God sent an angel named Gabriel to a girl named Mary. The angel had a message for Mary. When Mary saw the angel, she was freaked out. But the angel said, do not be afraid, Mary. God has blessed you. You will give birth to a baby boy. You must name him Jesus. Mary was so confused though. She said to the angel, how can I have a baby? I'm not even married yet. The angel answered, God's spirit will put a baby inside of you. That baby will be called the son of God. And soon after that, just like the angel said, Mary became pregnant with God's son. Okay, I really wanna eat that angel, but this is kind of cool. Can I do the next one? Sure. Now, Mary was engaged to a man named Joseph, and together the two of them had to travel all the way to a little town called Bethlehem to be counted for the census. By this time, Mary was very pregnant, and they had to walk 80 miles down a dirt road to get there. They were dusty and tired from the long journey, and when they finally got to Bethlehem, there was one big problem. Everyone was there to be counted, so the whole town was filled up. Mary and Joseph couldn't find anywhere to stay. Well, actually, there was one place to stay. It was a stable with cows and sheep and all kinds of farm animals. It was dirty and smelly, but it was all they could find. And then that night in the stable, in the middle of the cows mooing and the sheep buying, there was the sound of a baby crying. Jesus was born. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and error pining, till He appeared and the soul felt its worth. A thrill of hope, the weary world rejoices for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. Fall on your knees, oh hear the angel voices, oh night divine. 
That night, there were shepherds staying in the fields nearby. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared to them. They were terrified. But the angel said to them, Don't be afraid. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. And you will recognize him by this sign. You will find a baby wrapped snugly in strips of cloth, lying in a manger. Suddenly, a whole army of angels filled the sky. They praised God and said, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace on earth to those with whom God is pleased. When the angels returned to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, Let's go to Bethlehem. We have got to check this out. But the shepherds weren't the only ones to visit Jesus. Some wise men from the east saw a star in the sky. The star guided them to Bethlehem and stopped over the place where Jesus was staying. When they walked into the house and saw Jesus with his mom, they were filled with so much joy. They bowed down and worshiped Jesus. Then they opened their treasure chests and gave him gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh. These weren't the kinds of gifts you would give to a baby though. They were the kinds of gifts you would give to a king. And that is who Jesus is, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Son of God. What an incredible story. You know, there's so much more to Christmas than the trees and the lights and the presents and even the cookies. Hey, speaking of cookies, they should be just about done. Oh man, I can't wait. How about this? While we all wait for the cookies to finish up, press pause and talk about this question. How can your family put Jesus at the center of your Christmas celebration this year? When your cookies have finally cooled off and they're ready to eat, press play again. We'll see you in a bit. Mm. Oh my goodness. These cookies are so good. I think I could eat them all. Oh, delicious. I mm. know I could. It's oh. so much better when you actually mix the ingredients. <laughs> I can't, that first time was, oh, <laughs> welcome back guys. I hope your cookies turned out as good as ours. Hey, speaking of mixing the ingredients, do you remember how we started with all the different ingredients? The butter, the sugar, the eggs. Separately, they didn't taste all that great. That's for sure. But when we mixed them all together, they made something incredible, something sweet. Mm -hmm. You know, that kind of reminds me of the Bible story we just heard. How so? Well, just like we mixed together all of the ingredients, God mixed together an incredible true story. The angel, Mary and Joseph, the stable, the shepherds, the star, mm -hmm. the wise men, together they made something incredible. They made the Christmas story. That's right. But the sweetest part of the Christmas story is Jesus. John 3, 16 says, God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. Anyone who believes in him will not die, but will have eternal life. God is good, but a lot of times we're not. We all sin and we all make mistakes. We say and do things that hurt each other. The Bible says that the consequence of those sins is death and separation from God. But fortunately, that's not the end of the story. Because on the first ever Christmas, God gave us the best gift ever. He gave us his son, Jesus. And now if you believe in Jesus and follow him, your sins are forgiven and you get to live with him forever in heaven. And that's what we celebrate at Christmas time. You know, Dustin, as much as I love the lights and the presents and, and the, the cookies, cookies. <laughs> yes, and the cookies, Jesus really is the best part of Christmas. Hey, we hope you have an amazing Christmas and that you remember that Jesus is the sweetest part of the season. He's the reason that we celebrate. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, Merry Christmas, everyone, and enjoy those cookies. I know I will. Oh no. There's no more cookies. Oh no. We ate all the cookies. Oh no. But I want more cookies. Well. I know where I need to see more. Destin, don't even think about it.